What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby, here, man. Welcome to the Big Baby Sports post game show with Big Baby. But before we get into today's show, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications before every live pre game show, post game show, interviews, and breaking news regarding Lakers. But before we get into today's show, roll that clip and intro. I'm here to be an all time great. You're now rocking with the best. Welcome to the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Oh, he's smoking hot. The latest Laker news. Another great Showtime feed. The greatest Laker show. This is going to be legendary for a long time. This is is the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Lakers all day. Go Lakers! What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby here, man. Welcome to another episode of Big Baby Sports. I'm your host, Big Baby Jonathan, man. Um... We're going to get into to a tough loss the Lakers suffered last night um, versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Lakers lose 133 to 115, man. And that is 10 straight losses for the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers are 34 and 10 against the Lakers um, in the sense of the matchup so far this past couple of years, man. And um, LeBron had a historic game, 46 points with nine threes. You know, LeBron did everything in his power to come back. You know, it was a good game um, for the Lakers, like as far as the LeBron scoring, you know, and God get her credit due, man. Clippers did their thing. Kawhi Leonard had 25 points, nine rebounds. Kawhi shot 15 or 11 out of 16 from the field, 35 minutes. Um, Paul George had 27 points, three for nine from the field, from three, and 11 out of 20 from the field. And it, just for the Clippers, man, their bench um, stepped up tonight for the Clippers. And I feel like the main reason we lost tonight, because LeBron didn't have any help. You know, they threw guys at LeBron. They threw Kawhi. They threw Paul George. They threw Norman Powell. They threw Reggie Jackson at him a couple times. Let's go with the Lakers, man. You know, like the Lakers had – the Lakers started out in this game 9-0. to zero. I said, all right, Lakers, let's come back. Let's fight. Let's fight. Let's fight. You know, I'm looking at the stat sheet here. LeBron scored 46 points. Thomas Burr at 15. Yeah, so Westbrook – so basically LeBron – Took the load of the shoulders tonight, and that's what I liked. That's what I liked from Los Angeles Lakers, from LeBron. He was aggressive. He, he shot 16 out of 29 from the field, 9 from 14 from the three-point line, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, career high in threes. I liked what I saw from LeBron James tonight. You know what I mean? I saw the aggression. I saw the hunger, desire, but here's the thing. Others need to step up. Troy Brown needs to step up. Patrick Beverly needs to step up. Dennis Schroeder needs to step up. He struggled tonight. You know, three for nine from the field, only played 32 minutes, seven points. I got to do better. You have to improve. You know, you come back down 25 versus Portland and against the Clippers, you play like this. You know, we need we need more people to step up in Anthony Davis's absence. But according to Dave McMenamin that just broke a couple of minute, hours ago that they're going to test him pregame, but he's questionable into tonight's game versus the San Antonio Spurs. Um, Anthony Davis makes his debut tonight. Versus the Spurs, but we'll get into more of that after I run down this after I run down the Clipper game. But um, we're getting some help in the acquisition that we got in Yama Wamba Yama. You know, was playing tonight. Achimoro was making his debut tonight. That's going to be help for us too because we didn't really have anybody tonight. You know what I mean? Um, we didn't have Austin Reeves, uh, Lenny Walker, Anthony Davis, and Achimoro. Um, but still, doesn't that's there's no excuses. Lakers didn't play up to par. They got punched in the mouth, but LeBron did everything in his power to get us back in the game. It was a back and forth game. We're down what 20 plus points at halftime. It was ridiculous what I saw from the Lakers. I didn't see any. I'm not hating. Here's the thing. I want to get into Laker Nation. Everybody thinks I'm a Laker hater. I'm not a Laker. Hater. I just keep it the fuck real. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All you Laker fans that come in my DM and talking mess saying I'm a hater. Uh, the reason you guys think I'm in it because I'm keeping it real. I'm not bashing this team. I'm not 
hating on us. I'm just keeping it real. Here's the thing. On my platform, I keep it real. I don't baby this team. I keep saying this time and time again, Laker Nation. Like, you know, shout out to angry Lakers fan and Lakers World Order. Go subscribe to his channel. And, um, you know, he's, he was supposed to be on today on my channel. We're supposed to do a collab show, but he couldn't make it today. Um, but make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel, man. He keeps it real, too. He doesn't baby the Lakers. He keeps it all the way the fuck real. And I'm sick and tired of Laker fans complaining about, oh, you're a hater on the Lakers. No, I'm not. I'm keeping it the fuck real. I don't baby this team. What I saw tonight, LeBron did everything in his power to get back in this game, and Lakers didn't execute. You know what I mean? It was a 10-point game in the fourth quarter. It was a 10-point game, Laker Nation, in the fourth quarter. 113-103. to 103. Lakers got the ball. Wes Westbrook threw the ball to Dennis Shooter. They chased it. Paul George got it. Kawhi got it and won. And that, and also, too, Wes Westbrook. You know, there was opportunities where he could have got the ball, turned the ball over. There was three possessions. Russell Westbrook messed up the momentum for us. Darvin Ham, I'm keeping it real, too. Stop putting your hands in your pocket. You know, when you do that, it makes it seem like you don't care. I know you care, but the way that you per perpetrate yourself on the Court, why, why, why'd you put your hands in your pocket if you're down 20? No, you need to get in these motherfuckers' asses, man. You need to get on these players. You know, if you have to yell at somebody, man, on the sideline or on the on the bench, do what you got to do. You know, I'm sick and tired of these coaches, man. You know, if a player's not playing up the par, take his ass out. Put somebody else. You know, give give Max Christie an opportunity. Maybe Scottie Pippen Jr., Cole Sw Swider, man. If, if the other players are not playing up the par, get the young guys in there. You know, that's what I would do. I would say, okay. Dennis Schroeder's not playing well. Max Christie get in. Scottie Pippen Jr. come in. I want to see a different rotation sometimes, man. You know, because and that's the thing. Uh, Damian Jones, Damian Jones played finally, but in a blowout. It's like we got to do better. We got to step it up, man. Because I know there's reports out there. You know, Lakers might make another trade. But here's the thing, Laker Nation. Make sure you guys like the channel, subscribe to the channel, put on comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about t t this game, the Lakers Clipper game, and what can you see the Lakers do into tonight's game for the versus Spurs. But we'll get into that in a couple minutes, man. But um, what I saw from this team, I saw a fight in the second half, but it was just mostly LeBron. Let's look at the team stats. Lakers shot 40% from three, Clippers shot 50. We shot 62% from the free throw line, 15 out of 24. That cannot happen. Improve on that. Improve on that for the game tonight versus Spurs. They shot 80% from the three. We got a rebound at 47 to 32. That cannot happen tonight. And offensive rebounds, we had nine. They had seven. Um, assists, they had 25. We had 21. Points points in the paint is tied at 50-50. You know, and the biggest lead for them was the 23-point And we didn't even lead in the game at all tonight. You know what I mean? And... And it's it's ridiculous, man. Lakers got to do, you know. I know. Here's the thing. I'm gonna keep it all the way. I'm keeping it real. The Clippers have been dogging the Lakers each game. They own us. I'm keeping it real. Oh, it's rigged. No, we gotta stop using that champ. Oh, they have championships. Lakers got champ. I understand we have championships, but we have not beaten the Clippers in a while. And I'm sick and tired of losing to these motherfuckers. Because here's the thing. Time and time again with this Laker team, or the excuse me, this Lake this Clipper team. They play us really well. They shoot the lights out against us. They never miss. But the other teams, they struggle against the Spurs. They struggle against the Kings. They struggle against the Pacers. They struggle against anybody. Watch Kawhi Leonard's probably going to sit out the next two games. Watch. You know, I know how this Clipper team works, man. They play us really well in the regular season, but when it matters most, they don't know how to win an NBA championship. I don't care if they have Tyrone as a coach. Here's the thing about the Clippers. They do not know how to win in big-time moments yet because they don't know how to execute in the playoffs. They choke every year. This Clipper team is just like the LA chart, my LA Chargers, man. You know, they don't know how to win as an organization. Oh, they got to the West Conference Finals, who kids? They don't win anything. I'm sick and tired of losing to this team. I'm sick and tired of people saying that they're the better team in LA. They Skip Bears is talking about they own LA. Uh they have no championships to prove of it. They don't. I don't care. Like, here's the thing, like for real, man, like on some real stuff, man. They won. I think the record is ten and zero. We lost ten straight against them. But when are we going to start taking the Clippers seriously as far as, like, regular season, man? Like, I'm just so sick and tired of their four fans. You know, it's ridiculous, man. Like, I'm getting tired of losing to them, man. You know, but we got to bounce back tomorrow night, tonight's game against Spurs and um, just improve, man. That's all you can do. You, you lost, you lost, um, you know, 
last night and gotta do better versus Spurs tonight. You know what I mean? Um, Lakers are 22 and 26 on the season, and the Spurs are 14 and 33 on the season. You know, they got a group of guys that play really well. Um, the Spurs, they got Kendall Jones, could play really well, averaging 17 points versus the Lakers, averaging two assists versus the Lakers, and shooting 18.5 threes a game and shooting 28% from field goals for the Lakers. He's a very talented small forward. You know, could, you know, hit that mid range, contain him, and Jakob Porter is a very talented player. He's averaging 11 points and um, let me see how many rebounds. 11 and uh, 12 and 12 and 9 rebounds a game. And potential Lakers are interested in Jakob Porter. Lakers are interested in Josh Richardson and Doug McDermott. You know what I mean? Um, potentially, we're going to have to get Westbrook to get these players. Would I do it? I don't know. But the keys to the game come out more hungry, come out with more desire, come out with more execution tonight. And uh, real quick. Um, Anthony Davis is returning tonight, and we're getting um, Archie Moore back, making his Laker debut, potentially getting back Lenny Walker. So we're getting some help on the way. Austin Reeves is going to get um, examined today, see if he's, like, gonna cleared for for stuff, you know. And, um, yeah, man, Spurs, we got to contain Jakob Porto. Um, let me see. Yeah, Doug McDermott can light up for 20-plus points. And you don't want to give the Spurs team any confidence, you know what I mean? We want to come in here. You want them to come in here and just you – know, we, we don't want the Spurs to get any confidence tonight. You know what I mean? Um, they, they compete at the highest level. They compete each night. You know what I mean? They compete at a high level. You know what I mean? Um, you know, they got a group of talent, man. They got – let me see here. Zach Collins, big man. He can play really well, grab rebounds, run the floor. They got Stanley Johnson, former Laker. He can play really well, 6'6", 242 pounds. Trey Jones, Doug McDermott. Josh Richardson, Isaiah Roby, um, Jeremy, Jeremy Sokchu, that's his name, 6'8", 220 pounds out of Baylor. He's very talented. Only averaging nine points, but he could put up 15 to 20 points. I've seen his game, you know, um, and they do have a dude named Devon Vasley, Florida State guard, 6'5", 220 pounds, averaging 19 points, you know what I mean? 19.4 points per game, averaging 3.6 per game, and averaging 4.0 points per uh, excuse me, 4.0 rebounds a game. He's very talented, man. Uh, versus the Lakers, he's averaging 18.3 points per game because I feel like if we contain him, we'll win. You know what I mean? So you could put anywhere up to 14 points, 20 points, 24 points, 14 points. He's really capable of going up for 30 plus points. We got to contain him tonight. We just got to contain the Spurs team. You know, they're very talented. And, you know, Greg Popovich, great coach out there, one of the best in the league. You know, regardless of the record, he could preach his defense, toughness, grit, grand tenacity. And um, I just want to see this Laker team bounce back from the tough loss that we suffered versus the Clippers, man. It was very tough. Um, last night, we got to do better. Lakers come out and execute on both ends of the floor. Limit the turnovers because if you limit the turnovers, and here's the thing about these young teams, man. They play the Lakers, they get hyped up. You know what I mean? I don't want to see this Spurs team play like they do the best team in the league. I want to see the Laker team come out and dominate. Here's the thing about Anthony Davis' return. Um, keeping it all the way real, I got to keep it real, man. For me, as a Laker fan, this is the final stretch for AD as a Laker, in my personal opinion. Because if he comes back and gets injured again, um, just go ahead and wave the white flag and call the season, man. Because with the way that Anthony Davis was playing, the way that LeBron James was playing, the fact that he got injured off of a layup, off of a spin layup, that, 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 that makes me upset because he was playing at an MVP level. And he just put up numbers, man. You know what I mean? If he can contain that that he was prior to injury, man, we can go make a run because we're starting to get our three-point percentage going up, our defense is going up. We got guys that can play at the highest level, and we're done, probably not done making the trade like a nation. What do you guys think, man, about the whole trade with Washington again? You know, we got uh, Archie Morrow, man. He's making his debut tonight. Well, well, Jersey 20, I like his game. Averaging 13 points, he can play – Defense, he can shoot that mid range, attack the basket, left hand, right hand. He can, you know, what I mean, he can create his own shot, and that's what Flakers are looking for. I mean, we end up trading Kendrick Nunn and three first, three second round picks, but Kendrick Nunn really didn't contribute for us because of the injury, and he's out of rotation. Good luck to Kendrick Nunn in Washington. Have fun in Washington, man, with Kuzma and Badly Bill and um, Kirstaps Porzingis, man. You'll be, you good luck to you, man. But I like 
the trade for us because it brings us a wing defender could guard multiple positions and he's young too in his third season you know what i mean and lakers are expected to resign him that's why we traded for him and also too i feel like the lakers are not done making the trade i feel like lakers are probably still trying to look to get upgrade their roster and if the lakers have an opportunity to get a bradley bill or miles turner you do it because if you put let's say you give up Westbrook and that first round pick maybe lonnie walker and damian jones Damon Jones, and then you get Brad, Bally Bill and Miles Turner and a couple bench players on the back end of the Indiana roster and we get Bradley Bill, I mean, excuse me, Buddy Hill, Miles Turner, what's Miles Turner, AD, LeBron, Lonnie, or Dennis Schroeder, and then maybe like Austin Reeves play point. The Lakers could be in contention, man, because Miles Turner could spread the floor, shoot the three. I know Thomas Bryant could do that. But if you could put Thomas Bryant off the bench, too, man, with Archie Morrow and this Laker team is very talented. They're hungry. But here's the thing. If you're the Pacers, you might not just want Westbrook and the two first round picks. You may say, okay, give me Thomas Bryant too. But we'll see what the Lakers are going to do. The Lakers are still not done yet. They're, they probably make calls each and every day. They probably make calls, see what's going around the league. But here's the thing. I'm If I'm the Lakers too, if you want to hit the home run, I know everybody's talking about, oh, they're saving those picks. Um, I'm calling Chicago and offering Russ Westbrook two first round picks, 2027-2028. Or excuse me, 2027, 2029 for DeMar DeRozan. If they say no, say, okay, how about Zach Levine? Okay, I'm doing that same trade, calling Toronto and saying, give me Pascal Siakam, OG Ananobi, or Gary Trent Jr. You know what I mean? Lakers have an opportunity. Like, we're a couple games out of the sixth spot, man, because if Le- the way that LeBron's playing, he's having an historic season. Don't get me wrong, but if you could put AD back in the lineup with this talent that we have on the roster – if we make a couple more moves, man, with the shooter like Bodon Bodanovich, we can get him on the roster because, you know, shoot the three for us. We need shooters. We're not – we're shooting the ball really well, but I think we need more prolific shooters, you know what I mean? High consistent shooters, you know what I mean? High volume shooters, you know what I mean? Because I noticed when the Lakers get somebody that shoots the ball really well, can't hit the side of the backboard, you know what I mean? So we got – Lakers got to do a better job of getting players that want to be here, that know what it takes to win an NBA championship. I want to see Lakers get somebody else. You know what I mean? But if Lakers only get one move, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But And also, too, I saw a video of LeBron um, very pissed off on the sideline, on the bench. He looked very exhausted. And then um, and the fan was talking mess, man. I'm tired of the fans talking mess to LeBron, man. You know what I mean? It's like, come on. let like I understand he's for, I understand his fans want Lakers to do better. I understand. But it's like, come on, man. He's taking it too far talking about his hairline. And come on, man. That's disrespectful. But LeBron is irritated because I know a reporter asked him. Shout out to uh, Mark Medina. Asked him about what Rob Plinka said. Rob Plinka said that the draft picks um, on lines of that they see a trade, that they feel it's comfortable, they'll get rid of the draft picks. But right now it's a slow market. And they asked LeBron that, and he was like, he asked you guys that, not me. So I'm getting a sense of that interview or that question from Mark Medina. I feel like LeBron's irritated at Rob Plinka. You know what I mean? But if you're irritated, Rob Plinka, LeBron, go behind the scenes and talk to him face-to-face. You know what I mean? But we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens with the trade deadline coming up February 9th before my birthday. Um, I'm in the process of going to the Lakers game February 7th versus the Thunder, man. I'm going to go to that game. And I need to go to the Lakers game this year. I know I've not been one. I haven't been to the arena in a while. So, but yeah, man, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and the that's going to do it for uh, Big Baby Sports, man. Thank you guys for tuning in each and every show. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, turn on post notifications. And uh, peace out. One love. Go Lakers, baby.